Welcome back to the newsroom. I am Joy Uchejim, and these are the headlines we're tracking at the moment. The operatives of the Federal Capital Territory Police Command have arrested four suspects who are planning to attack government institutions and estates in the nation's capital on Independence Day. The command said the suspects were intercepted and arrested in their hideout in the Soka area of the FCT following an intelligence report on their activities. In a statement on Thursday, the command spokesperson Josephine Ade identified the suspects. And supporters of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in River State on Thursday has taken to the streets in protest against the planned local government elections set to be conducted by the River State Independent Electoral Commission on October 5, 2024. Led by the party's state chairman, Aaron Chukwemeka, thousands of party loyalists marched through Port Harcourt despite the heavy downpour voicing their displeasure over the upcoming poll. And ahead of the October 5th local government election in Benue State, Governor Hyacinth Alia declared Friday, October 4th, a work-free day. Alia declared in a statement by his Chief Press Secretary, Terso Kula, and made it available to newsmen in, Mac in Makodi on Thursday. The governor said that the work-free day was to allow the electorate to travel to their respective local government areas to exercise their franchise. And the federal government, through the Ministry of Women Affairs and Wema Bank PLC, have partnered to empower 500,000 women across the six geopolitical zones in the country. In a statement by the ministry's head of information and public relations, Grace Njoku, the partnership seeks to address poverty, unemployment and inequality. And on business, French energy giant Total Energies has announced plans to increase its oil and gas production until 2030 as it seeks to reassure investors about its fundamentals. CEO Patrick Puyani has a raft of ambitious projects aimed at propelling growth through the decade amid a $10 billion offshore investment in Tsunami that received a green light on Tuesday. The company on October 2nd attempted to buoy investors at its annual strategy and outlook meeting in New York as energy prices have fallen since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022. And on the foreign scene, the Speaker of Georgia's Parliament on Thursday signed into law a bill similar to Russian legislation that curbs the rights of LGBTQ people despite warnings from the EU. The move came a day after Georgia's pro-Western president Salome Zurabishvili, at loggerheads with the ruling Georgian Dream Party, refused to sign the bill. The bill is similar to Moscow's gay propaganda law, which also bans gender reassignment and nullifies same-sex marriages performed abroad or in the Georgian territory. And finally on sport, Atletico Madrid fell to a humiliating 4-0 Champions League defeat at Benfica on Wednesday. Diego Simeone's side were thoroughly outplayed and outfought in Lisbon, and the Portuguese side triumphed to record a second win in two matches in the competition. Bruno Laga's team went ahead through Kerem Atugolu's 13th-minute strike with former Real Madrid winger Angel de Maria extending the lead from the penalty spot early in the second half. And these are the major stories from our newsroom at the moment. We'll update you at the hour with more stories. I'm Joy Uchejin. See you next time.